Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing Ben H. Winter's novel, The Quiet Boy. Uh, I did review one of Ben H. Winter's books, The Last Policeman, about three years ago. I'll leave a link to the review below. Uh, if you want to learn more about him, I will give you a spoiler-free overview of the plot of this book, talk about what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading next time. Uh, the Quiet Boy, I would say, is a thriller. It's told in two parallel storylines, one where the main character is a, a medical malpractice attorney, uh, and that storyline follows really what is his biggest case in the year 2008. Uh, which is a medical malpractice case about a young boy named Wesley, who I believe is in high school at the time, but he hits his head, and in hitting his head, he has a very strange uh, affliction where he is able to walk around, but is essentially uh, not able to eat or sleep or anything, but he doesn't lose weight. He doesn't... Uh, seem to grow at all. He's just kind of in this constant state of shuffling back and forth and it is a medical malpractice suit against the hospital that treated uh, him after he hit his head. The second uh, storyline is the story of uh, the attorney in the first, uh, first storyline. It's really his son who is essentially investigating a homicide uh, 10 years after the medical malpractice suit that is tied directly to the medical malpractice suit. And trying to stay as spoiler-free as possible, but that's really the story. I really enjoyed both the main characters. Uh, the main character, who is the attorney, his name is Jay Schenk, and he is a uh, medical malpractice attorney who's very good at his job. And we see in the 2008 story, uh, where he's kind of in his biggest case. He's kind of at the height of his powers. And I really enjoyed uh, that character. I thought he was a lot of fun. I liked his son as well, his adopted son. They, in 2019, 2018, 2019, that storyline, they have something of a strange relationship. And that storyline is him really trying to, um, in some ways, mend the relationship that he has with his dad. So I, I enjoyed that. I think that Ben H. Winters handles the relationships, really all the relationships in the book really well. I like that relationship between father and son. We also see Jay Shank and his relationship with the uh, boy's family as they're going through this process and dealing with the frustration of the medical malpractice suit. We see his relationship with one of his witnesses who kind of turns out to be the key witness in the trial. So I enjoyed all that stuff. Uh, if there's things I didn't like as much in, in the book, uh, I did not enjoy. There's something of a supernatural element in the book, and that, for me, uh, didn't necessarily jibe with the characters. I think that I like the characters. I wish, th I hope that he writes more with these characters, but the plot of the book is not something I thought was, was particularly interesting because of that supernatural element that things are not really fully explained. I think that the book doesn't quite wrap up to the extent I would like. Um, very satis There's not a lot of satisfaction in the ending, or at least I didn't find a, a ton of satisfaction. Um, so I didn't care for, for those things. I do hope that he uses these characters again. I think Ben uh, H. Winters is a good writer. He has written uh, in the past Underline, I think it's Underground Airlines, which I think is probably his best known work a few years back, and he got some acclaim for that. I believe he won a Sideways Award uh, so he can he can craft a sentence, and I think that the book moves at a pretty good clip. Um, I think that maybe uh, the last 30 or 40 pages where he has to wrap everything up and kind of tie everything together was a little bit less successful. But if you like thrillers and you kind of like medical malpractice stuff, uh, I, I definitely would recommend The Quiet Boy. Uh, if you're someone who d doesn't enjoy those things and doesn't really enjoy kind of the supernatural mixed with the the day-to-day, uh, I, this may be not the book for you. So that's Ben H. Winter's The Quiet Boy. Next time I will be reading K. Chess's uh, Famous Men Who Never Lived, I believe. Uh, until next time, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will leave the link to the Twitter account below as well as that uh, clip from Ben H. Winter's, uh, my review of The Last Policeman. Until next time, bye.